All right, we're going to get right into today's teaching. And as we get into the Word, I just want to just encourage you to get ready for what God has for you in your life. All right, so let's have a look. Today I want to teach on repentance and others. All right, I've been dealing with the issue of repentance. And I've said, what is repentance? Repentance means to change your mind. All right, that means to change the way you see something. All right, so I've dealt with that quite extensively. But today I want to deal with this issue of repentance and others. People have hurt me. People have done me wrong. But I need to change my mind around what they have done. All right, and why they have hurt me. All right, Mark chapter eleven twenty-five. it says this. And whenever you stand praying, whenever you stand praying... If you have anything against anyone, forgive them. All right, that your Father in heaven may also forgive you. And so we need to sit down and forgive others so that God can forgive us. Take heed to yourself. If your brother sins against you, rebuke him. If he repents, forgive him. Okay, if he sins against you seven times a day and seven times a day returns to you saying, I repent, you shall forgive him. Please help us uh, increase our faith because Jesus Christ was actually teaching on this issue of repentance. And they said, help us get to the place where we can trust you for this. And so what does that mean? That means that they needed to change their mind on the person that was hurting them. All right, If they come and they repent, you must forgive them and let it go. And so very often we as believers don't do this. We, we pick up an offense and we don't forgive because we sit down and say, well, that person hasn't repented. And if they do repent, if they come and do it again, then you're going to hold it against them on the second or the third time that they do it. How many times must I say, I forgive you every time they keep on doing it? Well, the Bible says that even if they do it 70 times, seven in a day, you keep on doing it. And that's why they said, the disciple said to Jesus, please increase our faith. That's what he taught on the mustard seed. Now, why did they say increase our faith? They said, increase our trust in you because it's not natural to do this. It's not normal to do this. And so today, I need to have a supernatural way of doing this. Okay, how do I keep on forgiving? Now, I'm going to help you with this. The reason why I need to help... uh, help somebody or uh, forgive them is very simple. Not just that my sins are forgiven, but how do I practically get around to allowing myself to forgive them? Let me tell you how. It's when you realize, and I need to change my mindset on the person that's hurting me. As soon as I can change my mindset, it helps me deal with it. Now, what does that mean? It means if I know they are hurting me for a reason, Let me give you an example. How many of you have seen somebody who's gone through an absolute trauma and you're giving them a little bit of grace because they do something wrong? All right? They do something wrong and you say, okay, well, I understand they're doing it because they've just gone through a trauma or they've just done, uh, uh, had something done to them, so we give them a bit of grace because they're doing it. The same has to happen with every single person who does you wrong. So you say, what do you mean by that? Let me explain. Satan is influencing people. Satan is trying his best to get people to go to hell. And so if somebody comes to you and they do something really ugly, it is always because of an influence. All right, so if people do things ugly, it's not a willful act and I'm going to just go decide to go hurt people. There is an influence that's making them do that. And so today, when we talk about repentance... We are talking about changing a mindset. And we need to forgive others so that we are forgiven. We go before God and we say, God, we repent. We change our mind. We want to be in line with the word. But in the same breath, we need to sit down and say, God, we forgive these that have hurt us. And it's always the people that that are closest to you that really hurt you. You know, if the people far away from you, you sit down and you go, well, I don't care anyway. But it's the people closest to you that hurt you. And so we need to get to this place. That's why the disciples even went to Jesus and said, please increase our faith. 
Help us get to the place where we trust your word more than this hurt that we're feeling. And that's where we need to get to. All right, we need to get to the place where we repent, we end up being converted. In other words, we change our actions. So we change our mindset, we change our actions, and now we forgive. We let go of anybody who has hurt us. If they come to repent, they say sorry, we immediately release it, and we forget about it. We don't treat them like they owe us anything, or that we've got something against them, or you remember that you did this thing wrong 20 years ago. That is not what God's plan is and will is for our lives. So this morning, when we come around communion, when we come around the table, I want you please to sit down and say, Jesus, help me forgive those as much as I'm asking you to forgive me. Help me to forgive others as much as I ask you to forgive me. In Jesus' name. So let's take our elements. Sorry, I'm just finding my elements. On the night that Jesus was betrayed, he took bread and he broke it. And he said that this is my body that was broken for you. All right, take this in remembrance of me. He took the cup and he said, this is my blood that was shed for you. Take in remembrance of me. And so today as we take of the emblems, I want us to sit down and say, Lord, we thank you for the price that was paid for us, that we are free. But Lord, I thank you that as we take of these elements, we thank you, Lord, that you are not only going to set us free and forgive us, but Lord, you're going to help us forgive others. We're going to help us that when they ask for repentance, we give it to them in Jesus' name. Let's pray together. Lord, I thank you right now in the name of Jesus. And we ask you right now to forgive us of any sin that we have in our lives. Anything we've done wrong, any motive, um, any word, any action. In Jesus' name, we ask you to forgive us. Lord, we ask you right now in the name of Jesus to help us forgive those, Lord, that have hurt us and that have asked for forgiveness. Lord, that we will genuinely just let it go in Jesus' name. And Lord, help us to do that. But Lord, we thank you for the Holy Spirit, the dunamis power of God to assist us in all of these things. In the name of Jesus. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Let's partake together. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for a physical healing in the name of Jesus. Lord, we release your dunamis power in Jesus' name. And we thank you, Lord, that we are healed by the power of God. We release the anointing. We command every something to go in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you that you are moving by your spirit. And I thank you for the anointing and the power of God that flows. And we thank you, Lord, that we are healed in the name of Jesus. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. All right, so let's pray over our economy, over the global thing, and let's start restricting what Satan is trying to do over our nations. Lord, we come before you this morning. We thank you, Lord, for the power of God. We thank you, Lord, that you love us and that you care for us. Lord, we pray over our economy. Lord, we pray over every sector. We thank you, Lord, that the blessing of the Lord is going to be made manifest in every sector. Lord, every business that is busy uh, operating, we pray your blessing and anointing over every single individual. Lord, we pray for your protection over them. We thank you, Lord, that we can build altars. We can restrict everything that Satan is trying in Jesus' name. We can stop this decay in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we thank you for the power of God. We thank you, Lord, for your protection as we go out. And Lord, we pray for those who have got the virus. We command a speedy recovery. We command that virus to die, not only in the people, but God over our nation. We command this virus to die and to dissipate and to leave our nation in the name of Jesus. Lord, we stand in agreement with everybody else for the global prayer. Lord, we stand and say, Lord, we call on you and say, God, have mercy on our nations. 
Lord, we release the power of God and the blessing of God over our nations. We thank you, Lord, that you are moving by your Spirit and the blessing of the Lord will be made manifest right across this globe in Jesus' name. We come against these assignments and against these strategies to try and bring lawlessness and confusion and demonic agendas in the nations in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, for your blessing. We thank you for your anointing in the mighty name of Jesus. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Well, folks, let's get into our declaration today. All right, in the name of Jesus, I declare by faith that I walk in divine favor. I have preferential treatment, supernatural increase, restoration, increased assets, great victories, recognition, prominence, petitions granted, policies and rules changed, and battles won that I did not have to fight, all because of the blessing and the favor of the Lord Jesus Christ.